good morning. What a great conference. Congratulations, guys. So the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. If it weren't a crazy idea, it'd be a small incremental improvement. So the question is, where in our society do we allow for crazy ideas and breakthroughs to come? Well, the purpose of the XPRIZE Foundation, I'm hoping most of you know about it, is to bring about radical breakthroughs for the benefit of humanity. And the way that we do this is through large incentive prizes. Our first prize, the Ansari X Prize, uh, was won by Bert Rutan, backed by Paul Allen for a private spaceship. It will carry three adults into space twice in two weeks. It's now hanging in the Air and Space Museum. And we did this with a $10 million prize. The money is not the reason people do it. It is a clutter buster, but it's really the passion and the commitment to try and make a huge difference. We are now looking at prizes in four different groups, including life sciences. So our active prizes. Today we have $50 million worth of active prizes. The Google Lunar X Prize. All you have to do to win this $30 million prize is build a robot, launch it, land it on the surface of the moon, <laughs> send back photos and videos, rove a half a kilometer, and send back more photos and videos. We now have 21 teams around the world competing for this. And our expectation and hope is that it's going to be a private entrepreneur who lands next on the moon, beating China, India, and the US back to the surface. And if they do this, they're going to reinvent how to get there in a cheap, efficient, recurrent fashion. The next major X Prize to be won is our Progressive Automotive X Prize. Uh, Progressive is our partner there, and this is for a new generation of super efficient, fast cars. We closed registration 134 vehicles. We're now down to 53 vehicles that enter design, judging, and testing in the next few months. And as Mark said, we have uh, our Archon X Prize for Genomics, which Mark was running. Sequence 100 human genomes in 10 days. Craig Venter is the co-chair of this competition and, and follows on his work. We now have nine teams competing for this, and we hope in the next 12 to 24 months this will be awarded. <clears throat> so the question is, where are we going next? Well, we've partnered with WellPoint and are getting ready in Q1, Q2 of next year to roll out a healthcare X Prize. And what is this? First of all, if you can't measure something, you can't improve it. So one of the very first things we're looking to do is to create a measurement for the health of a community. How healthy is this community? How many sick days have they had? How many missed days at work? You know, how many deaths in that community? And create a community health index. And then we're asking teams to tell us how would they manage the health of a group of 10,000 people? WellPoint identified five 10,000 person populations. We're down selecting from hundreds of teams down to five finalists, and then asking them to run the healthcare of these five groups over a three year period, increasing their community health index. The one that increases it the most while reducing the costs is going to win. We'll be working on this over the next six months with the hope to launch this next year. Through the work of the, our XPRIZE lab at MIT and the support of uh, the Gates Foundation, we've got a tuberculosis XPRIZE we're working on. The ability to diagnose TB, even if it's co-infected with AIDS or drug resistant, in less than three hours with a small portable device to really address the two million people per year that die from this disease. So the question is, where next? So some ideas we're working on, uh, a bionics XPRIZE to be able to develop an electromechanical system for those people who've lost, use, lost their legs or lost use of their legs. Allow them to walk around everyday situations or even climb a mountain to really replace the wheelchair that we have today with a biomechanical set of legs. Brain-computer interface. Can you interface the cortex directly with the net and do that in a bi-directional fashion that is consistent and repeatable? One of my favorites is the AI physician. I hope we can get this capitalized and launched. So the way this would work is imagine a computer that can speak and read natural language and speaking to uh, a patient can diagnose them as, any, as well as any group of 10 board certified doctors. Anyone with a cell phone 
then has access to first class medical, at least conversation. So X prizes are objective, measurable, clear. They're inspirational, intelligenic. And we try and target them to be one in three to eight years. Less than three years, it was too easy. More than eight years, no one cares anymore. So the question is, where do we go next in life science? I'd like to ask you this question. Where should we be going? Perhaps organogenesis, the first lab-produced transplantable heart, lung, or liver. Or as I've been discussing with Aubrey now for a while, you know, double the healthy human lifespan. So please join us in this conversation. At the end of the day, for me, the most valuable tool for solving humanity's grand challenges is the passionate and committed human mind. Thank you.